Ibuprofen is a new vitamin C. It is easy to get. So some of us use this medication to treat all types of pain in the body. Leg pain, stomach pain, headache, fever, menstrual pain, and so on. But do you also know that taking this for a very long period of time can lead to several life-threatening complications? In today's video, I'll be telling you a few side effects of ibuprofen in men and women, also in pregnant women. Ibuprofen is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that is used to relieve fever and mouth pain. It works by blocking prostaglandin. Prostaglandin is a natural compound that sends pain signals. So the work of ibuprofen is to block this prostaglandin to suppress your pain. For some people, it's a first choice medication that they use to treat headache, fever, menstrual pain, or even toothache. But prolonged use of this medication can put your life at risk. It can lead to several life-threatening complications, which I'll be mentioning a few of them to you in today's video. If it is something you're interested in, then stay with me to the end of this video. Among the few side effects of ibuprofen that I'll be mentioning to you today, the number one on my list is gastric ulcer. Yes the common ulcer that you know. Prolonged use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen, aspirin, even naproxen, they can affect your stomach lining. They can irritate your stomach lining and lead to wounds. That is what you call ulcer. So prolonged use of these drugs can lead to ulcer. They can cause ulcer. In fact, there is no doubt about this. It causes ulcer. Number two, if you already have ulcer and you're still taking these drugs, it can worsen your ulcer symptoms. That is, if you have ulcer, do not take non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs, do not take ibuprofen and the family, except if you're asked to on that doctor's watch. If it's prescribed to you by your doctor, then that means that you have a certain period of time to use it, including diclofenac. Yes, you cannot take diclofenac, naproxen, and the rest if you have ulcer. Taking this can worsen your ulcer. Number symptoms. three, it can increase your risk of developing stroke. Number four, it can cause liver damage if taken frequently, especially when it's combined with alcohol. You that you cannot do without alcohol or you constantly use alcohol to take your drug, remember this can lead to liver damage. Number five, it can lead to early miscarriage. And this is where I'll be talking about how ibuprofen is very dangerous during pregnancy. Taking ibuprofen in the early stage of pregnancy can lead to early miscarriage, yes. Also, taking ibuprofen in the second and third trimester can increase your baby's risk of developing asthma. If you don't know this, please, as a woman, once you're pregnant, before you take any medications, make sure you consult your doctor or your physician or your pharmacist. It is very important because these drugs have a lot of side effects on your fetus, on your developing fetus. So taking ibuprofen during pregnancy can be a life-threatening complications for you and your baby. Furthermore, Taking ibuprofen in the third trimester can lead to oligohydramnosis. Oligohydramnosis is low level of amniotic fluid. If you're not familiar with the word, I'm going to remind you. Amniotic fluid is a fluid that surrounds um, your baby, your developing baby in the uterus. It's a very important part of fetal development, that is your baby's development, because amniotic fluid helps your baby to move. It regulates your baby's temperature and it prevents your baby from infection. So low level of this amniotic fluid can increase your risk of CS, cesarean section, can lead to miscarriage, stillbirth, fetal growth restriction, that is your baby will not be able to develop very well. It can also lead to poor lung development and premature labor. So you can see how much ibuprofen can affect you and your baby. So ibuprofen during pregnancy is very risky. 
ibuprofen can also decrease blood flow to your baby's kidney and to other important structures in your baby before you take any medication during pregnancy i suggest you consult your physician if you find this information really helpful kindly like and subscribe to my channel share as well if you have any comment drop it in the comment section below i will see you guys in the next one thank you